Just very finally, I have to say I felt kind of dispirited last night when I saw um, what, what what Ronan Glynn had to say when I saw uh, the figures. I think a lot of people will feel a little bit downhearted that it's kind of a case of we've taken 20 steps forward, we seem to have taken a couple back. Now, whatever about a second surge, I can't help thinking that if we keep going the way we're going, it is inevitable that some kind of restrictions will be brought back. Maybe not the sweeping measures we saw, but uh, more localised, more specific, more micro restrictions. Uh, am I being overly gloomy in that assessment? I would think you're being fairly pragmatic and realistic, to be honest. But it, uh, but at the same time, we do want people to try and get back to some semblance of normality. Uh, oh, absolutely. Want, we, I'm not we suggesting to... we lock the country down. No, but... no, 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 of course not. But you, but, you, but you are right, I suppose. We have a, we have a better infrastructure now from a laboratory perspective, from a public health perspective, from, from a contact tracing perspective. So you're right. We certainly would hope not to be having to impose any um, sort of national level restrictions. But what we want to be in a position to do is if we do identify clusters of the nature that we've seen in the last sort of 24, 48 hours, that they can be targeted quickly, they can, people can be tested, contacts can be um, isolated, um, and that's really, and we want to be in a position to do that very quickly. So I think I think you're right, like from the, the point of view of, of the department um, and NEFIT, we're obviously looking at the same figures, and you're right, you know, we've had some very good days where the numbers have been very, uh, in very low single digits, a so couple of cases with no new cases, and ultimately I think that's where we want to get. We want to get to a, a number that is as close to zero if, as possible, if, if not zero, um, and obviously at this point we seem to be slightly moving in the opposite direction, so uh, I said we don't want to be too gloomy, but certainly there's, there's a note of caution there, and, and as we come into the weekend, um, we do just want to remind people that if, if they are are going out to restaurants or if they're going out for food, if they're going out to meet friends, to please follow the public health guidelines, physically distance, maintain hand hygiene and, you know, go for your hour and 45 minutes um, and then go home.